I spent one full month studying his religion, Buddhism. Namo Buddhaya. I read Buddhist books. I talked to Buddhist monks and I visited Buddhist temples here in Nepal where Buddha himself was born. And I discovered that I am secretly Buddhist and you are secretly Buddhist. But first, some background. I am on a six month challenge to study six top religions, one every month. Buddhism, Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and even atheism. This is the story of what I learned from Buddhism. Buddhism started with this man, Buddha. He was born right here in this exact place in Nepal 2,500 years ago. And today, more than 500 million people follow his wisdom. Buddhism is deep and rich. I cannot cover it in one short video. So I'm gonna focus on the little bit of Buddhism that changed my life. In Buddhism, there is no God. There are no angels and no prophets. There is no devil and no Satan. There is no commandments and no prayers. There is even no eternal heaven or eternal hell. What the hell? This shocked me. Don't be shocked. I learned that Buddhism doesn't worry about life after death, heaven or hell. Buddhism only worries about life before death. How do I live a happy life today before dying? That's what Buddhism is about. You don't own your past. You don't own your future. You cannot control, you cannot do anything about it. You have only this moment. The Buddha teaches you to come to this moment and see what really inside us. That's why Buddhism focuses only on your mind. Your mind is your God. It is the source of all happiness and sadness, of all good and evil. If we can control our mind, we can be happy. The mind is everything. What you think, you become, the Buddha said. That is the core of Buddhism. The mind is so powerful in this religion that it became a sixth sense. We are used to five senses in the West. See, hear, smell, taste, touch. But Buddhists believe in a sixth sense, the mind. We have five senses. Everything is linked by mind. That is why we need to focus on our mind in Buddhism. The Buddha said, when your mind is pure, the happiness and the joy follows like a shadow that never leaves you. Buddhism is full of wisdom. When you read the religious books, you'll get the step-by-step -step guide on how to control your mind and make it happy. Yes, Buddhists think it is possible to live a happy life today. This is how. So how can my mind be happy and pure? The Buddha teaches you that let go of the attachment and then you will be happy. Let go of the attachment. Yes. Let go of attachments. Turns out our mind gets sad when it gets attached. You get attached to money, to people, to emotions. And when your money is gone, then you suffer. When your father is gone, then you suffer. When your job is gone, you suffer because you are attached to all of them. When we get attached to things, we expect a lot. When we expect a lot, sometimes we don't get it. When we don't get it, we become sad <laughs> and we suffer. Expectations is the thief of joy, really. Buddhism 
teaches us not to get attached. Because in life, nothing lasts forever. Our parents, they don't last forever. Our job, it doesn't last forever. Our nice car, our country, our money, everything will be gone one day. Is there anything that's not subject to change? Yes. What is it? That is the process of changing. <sighs> so, uh, this is a true story. I did a one hour meditation today and I almost cried. Just thinking about the idea that nothing in my life would last forever made me cry. The Buddha said, let go of attachment and you will be at peace. This sounds simple, but it's really hard to accept. It's hard to accept that your job will be gone and your parents will be gone too. And that's fine. You can still love your parents, but you must accept that they are impermanent, that your happiness cannot be attached to them. Love and attachment are two different things. When you love someone, you love seeing them grow and becoming happy. But when you get attached to someone, you expect them to make you happy and ask, why are you not making me happy? That's the difference. Yes. I spent one month trying to understand this concept. And here in Nepal, talking to Buddhist monks, it finally 